This composition is designed in a uh, spiral, which we call caracol. Telling a story through art is what David Garcia does. Uh, the painting is called The Journey. As a matter of fact, you know, El Viaje. You may recognize some of David's work across Denver, like here in La Raza Park. Another one you might have recognized would have been here along 8th Avenue. It was just real natural that they happened to move in there. And I'm like, I'm going to go say hi to the neighbors. Literally like that. That was in 2008. Turns out the building belongs to Sisters of Color. It was a community center. And once they met him, they wanted David to be the one to paint it. Everything around here was warehouses at the time. And so we really created like a pop of light. It was David's first commissioned artwork and it was dedicated to his mom. So I always wanted to honor my mom in a way, in a, in a way that like I felt was meaningful. And so this, this mural, Sisters of Color, I was like thinking of the character. There's a character called um, Coatlicue. And, and so she's kind of like a, kind of a Mother Earth character. So my mom is in the center character uh, as Coatlicue. She's gone now, and so is his tribute to her. No changes or alterations to the, to the building without prior written consent. It is very clearly written. Despite the terms of a lease agreement, the current tenants painted over David's mural a few months ago. I'm, I'm sad. It was, it was like a, a piece of my, it was like a piece of my heart was taken and a piece of the community's heart was taken. Months later, they say the dispensary has yet to make it right. Their only request is that the owners pay to repaint the mural they covered. It was like almost like a place that I created for my family. And so it's very emotional that that that, that is c covered up, you know, and that it that it's destroyed, you know what I mean? With photojournalist Brian Wendlin, I'm Lori Lizarraga for Nine News.